Hey there, welcome back. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and continue this game. And uh, remember when we were precariously hovering at around 90,000? Now look at us. We're at 98,000 and we're full. So uh, that's good. Uh, I have a feeling that once we get into the sea lion, uh, we're going to need all of those. So uh, let's go ahead and get deployed here. Uh, the Geiber Jaeger. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing these things correctly. Uh, could be useful here, but obviously they do better on hills. They get attack bonuses. So I'm looking here and I see a whole bunch of hills here, 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 and here. And even here you could be standing on a hill and attack into the city. So I want them for sure to be going this way. And we'll start them on a hill. Okay, and then these guys obviously um, are air units. And where do I want to land them is the question. I'm thinking, wouldn't it be cool if I could land back here? But could I pull that off? That's the real question. I can already see there's a ship here that would wreck me a little bit. Uh, there's an artillery. But if I can land in the back corner, that would be amazing. Um, I think this would be a death trap to land there. I think it would be a death trap. I mean, I don't think this would be very helpful to land here. Uh, there is a temptation to come up and maybe land up here. But um, we're going to try... Because I'm wondering if I can fly over Turkey. So there we go. We're going to get some flying units there. Our first pioneer, this is the one-man wrecking crew, is going to be right there. And then, as you may have guessed, the other two will go over here on this side. And yes, we need to get our artillery in. Let's get our Mars. And then... He's more mobile, so we can put him further back. And now we have three anti-air. So we're going to put two over there and one here. And obviously we have anti-tank units to put in. Um, in the back. Oh my gosh, look, I am full up over here on the right side for one tank. And that one tank is going to be the tiger. Show them you're a tiger. Show them what you can do. The taste of Tony's Frosted Flakes. Oh, yeah. It brings out the tiger in you. All right. Uh, I definitely see air units on this side. So two fighter units over there. One fighter unit over here. Uh, we're going to split our bombers, one each, and looks like the strategic bombers have to be over here. So with that in mind, I'm going to put my other bomber on this side. Okay, um, I'm a little nervous about the fact that I only have one tank over here. And I have so many over here. And the thing is, is this is the bottleneck side. So I'm going to remove a tank. Remove that infantry. And then, yeah, we're going to put a tank here. And him there. Let's give it a go. Oh, we got to assign our hero, the double attack hero. So who's going to get the double attack? Um, obviously, a bomber is a really good choice. Does 10 and 12, soft and hard attack. This guy, I think he's the one that has lethal. So the lethal attack guy is a 20 soft attack. 
Um, <clears throat> I feel like this is such a big decision. Even giving a double attack to one of our anti-air units would be amazing. I mean, you're going to basically, no matter who you hit, you're going to just kill the plane. Or the tank, for that matter. But, you know, getting one of these Mars units, like this Mars unit right here, he's already got double support. Fire twice for each enemy attack. The zero slots. And then we give him double attack. Oh my gosh. That is quite impressive. But you know who we really should give the double attack to? <laughs> Our one-man wrecking crew. Why not? Yeah, let's do it. Double attack. Two attack actions per turn. Oh. How brutal is this guy going to be? He's got all five stars. Oh, yeah. That feels very appropriate. Okay. So, with that said, Mr. Oh, let's end our deployment now. So this message is because my tiger is not full strength and you know I can't do that. Also, I'm missing one core slot there. So this is only a problem because there's an artillery back there. So I can move him forward, move our artillery one space, and boom. Our artillery gets suppressed a bit. And I'm going to go ahead and we're going to suppress their artillery some more by three and even kill one. And nail this anti-tank and yeah he doesn't stand a chance Boom. and you can see there he had one more attack he could have done but of course they run away like the wimp that they are Panzer IV a fighter unit that can go in and I have to go here so that way I can protect my two bombers and that works perfectly so what do I want to do I want to do everything so let's go in and hit their anti-tank oh we got him to surrender and we captured the SU-57 which I think is not a bad anti-tank I could be wrong. Nailed then. Move that infantry up. We got some. Oh, yeah. Why not? Let's do six damage. Seven damage is even better. This guy doesn't have enough movement. This is an anti-tank. Again, not enough movement. This, of course, being an anti-air. Not enough movement. I'll move him up one. Yeah, this is the bottleneck I'm talking about. So we're experiencing a big bottleneck here. But... We broke through. I mean, this artillery could heal himself if he'd like, but he's going to get rumple stomped. This airfield is going to go. 
very soon. And we definitely busted through there. Now, this side, I'm a little more concerned because I don't have any uh, uh, recon on this side. But we're going to go ahead and move our king as far as he can go, and that's where he will stop. On the high ground, there's an M3 Lee and a 76 2. Those aren't very impressive. Our infantry, of course, can't do anything, so we'll just move up and stand next to them. Uh, we do have artillery, and because I'm on the high ground, I can hit them. This one can also hit them. And we can't attack, of course, with either of those. Move my tank in to prevent the Lee from creating a problem. Anti-air, protect our units. Get an anti-tank up, protect our units. And even more anti-air, which is almost unfair to them. And now we get to do some bombing. So we're going to go ahead and hit this guy for five. I'll take six. This guy for six. I'll take five. And yeah, we're going to put our fighters behind them to protect them. <laughs> okay, that's our turn. Oh, no, it's not. Where? Oh, here they are. <gasps> Look, I can't go over Turkey. <laughs> So I have to fly. Uh, let's go here and hope. You know what? Just so I don't have to reload everything. Um, yeah, we're just going to save this. And, and the only reason why I'm doing that is because obviously I don't want to lose my paratroopers. And that's looking like that might be safe. We'll find out. turn. Here they come. Oh, we only did three damage. They're going right after my enemy aircraft. interesting so far. Alright, I'll take that. Especially if we survived this nonsense. So, what if I went to Mount Elbrus? Oh my gosh, I can take it. Look at that, I took it. That's awesome. And then, maybe I can take... That one too. Obviously this tank is going to try to ruin my day. I mean I can get up on the mountain here. Get some high ground. But that might cause them to do some interesting things. To come after me. But there I am. I'm behind them. These tanks are either going to go left or right. I'm thinking this one will go after me to the left, for sure to retake that. We'll see. And then that'll move them away from bottlenecking us over here. This was supposed to be, you know, split into two armies, but as you can tell, most of my army is over here. And yeah, I got this anti-aircraft gun and all their planes decided to go this way. So, we're going to make them pay. I only have one fighter over here. 
Um, finish you off. Oh, didn't do it. What about this side? Was there any fighters over here at all? No, actually there was. But we got this situation. Is this the one with zero? Oh no, that's the problem. Both of these are the experienced ones. This is the one with zero experience over here. Oh, that's why he was only hitting three at a time. Boom. Not even fair. All right, well, I'm gonna take my fighters and I think we're gonna ruin some days here. I will take six damage, and there we go. We got Aerial Ace level two. Sweet. And this guy, can he reach anybody? He can finish him off, so we'll go ahead and do that. Everybody else is going to survive. So my big mistake is I got to pay attention. My inexperienced one should have been over here bundled with the other one. Um, so that was huge mistake on my part. Um, this guy needs some anti-tank glove. So we're going to go ahead and take an airfield. Finish him off with an overrun. Yeah, I can come back and we can maybe... So both of my tanks are going to stay here. and We got an anti-tank as well. So we're going to go ahead and hit him with our artillery. Let's explore. I would swear, I thought I had upgraded my infantry from the Vermont to the uh, Grenadiers. Um, I guess I have it. Alright, so that's down. We'll go around, take him. That artillery needs to go. I'm willing to bet he's very good. Rocket artillery. Yeah, 15, 12. That's pretty damaging. Now, this guy, of course, is zero experience, so um, we're trying to get him built up. wanting to call him the King Tiger. I know the King Tiger is a different tank. So, uh, he's definitely being the king for now, right? Yep, let's take the high ground here. Yeah, now let's get some more experience points. The only thing that stinks is I didn't get a chance to go after that rocket. This is, of course, an anti-air unit, which we will move up. Like so, protect everybody. And then this particular one, I need him to join the other side, I think. Gotta be careful, but I'm gonna do that. Hopefully they won't know he's there. And then as far as this side goes, I must have just landed this turn. I'm sorry. Not keeping track of my turns here. Who hasn't gone? He hasn't done anything.
All right, let's see how we did. Everybody's flying back. Getting some bombs in on our recon. Ooh, they're coming out. Oh no, that's not good. Whew, I'm so glad that that turn ended. That was disaster in the making there. All right, so that tank, by the way, did not move in. I'm gonna encircle this guy and we're having ourselves a bad day here. We definitely have to attack him. I can't just leave him there. And even worse, he's not encircled anymore. We're encircled. Oh, come on. How are we encircled? <sighs> All right. This guy seriously needs the repair. So we're going to do that. Of course, I'm way back here. I was supposed to move forward at the end of the last turn. I'm afraid to reload. But if I would have reloaded, I bet you... Oh, here we go. I can move one space and still hit him. Just not by much. Tanks aren't going to do well because they're grenad or the uh, heavy weapons unit. So we'll go in and pioneer, and they're dead. What do we got there? Artillery up in the mountains. <clears throat> Tank unit. Tank unit. Anti-tank unit. What I'm finding is that the, the infantry having this hero, they are so good that they force everybody to retreat. So I never get my second attack in. I think I should give it to a bomber because a bomber can hit a unit twice. So it was a brilliant idea, but poorly executed. Uh, this I do need to be concerned, but I'm going to go ahead and continue to move him because I want him to help to the west. These guys, I think I need everybody over here. Oh, and then I got my planes. I forgot about my planes. So we can... Damage him. <coughs> Excuse me. Only have one fighter unit over here. Yep, I can't reach. So I'm going to rebase. Oh, look at this. <laughs> that was funny. Let's rebase this one. I was hoping he was going to put me here and then I would have gotten him. But uh, that's fine. What can we do? Definitely nail him. Yep. At 
this guy needs experience, so we're going to move him up. This should be an easy kill. And, of course, we need to come in and... ...get the city. like I can get anybody, so I'll move up to here. I don't really want to go in with armored units. Nope. I at least want to support my artillery, though. So he's my target, and I'll be able to get him eventually. I do have this one bomber that really can't do anything over there. So I'm going to go ahead and relocate him over here as well to help out this side. And a little nervous, but we should be okay. Oh man, we did four damage to them. That one hurts. How did they even know we were there? That hurts. And then that infantry is going to come out now. Nope. That hurts. No. No. Oh, I gotta reload. Sorry. Nothing I can do about that. I can't lose one of my veteran tanks. Although, now that I have to reload, I reloaded turn three. I'm gonna reload the end of turn two. And this guy was able to move. Same with him. So I'm going to go ahead and get them moved. Alright, now let's try. So, similar outcome. This guy actually has one more strength than last time, but I'm still going to need to heal. This guy, of course, is going to hit the anti-air. Pioneer is needed. There. Go ahead and move him forward. From an artillery perspective, there's nothing to hit, but we're going to move forward to at least here. And artillery can move up to there. We'll get our tank up on high ground this time. And get our anti-tank up. Move our infantry up. have this fighter can't reach these guys up here so we'll go ahead and hit the one guy that we did have in range um, I still think it's a good idea to come hit those guys this is a supply point so we can't circle them So have this issue. 
So I'm going to attack from the high ground. We lost seven. I can move over. There we go. We got him encircled. I think he would still be encircled if I move over. Yes. But now I'm encircled. That was the mistake I made last time. Dang it. Um, this side is done. I was happy with this side, other than the fact that some infantry came out of the out of nowhere and attacked me. So we'll go ahead and at least be in the woods. <coughs> um. Go ahead and at least attack with my artillery before I move this time. Still wasn't able to take him out. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna move my tiger this way, just because that infantry was annoying. I still have an anti-tank here, which I'm gonna move him up and attack there. Obviously, I want my can't reach their plane, but I'll at least do this. And yeah, where's my anti-tank gonna go? Looks like my only option is really back to here. Um, oh, I remember what I did last time. I bombed him last time. So we at least got rid of that punk. This one... Looks like I can reach, and if I can reach, I'm going to hit. Even if it is just for one damage. So now I can go in. Obviously, this is uh, anti-air here, so I would get hit. Um, but I don't think there's anybody else I can go after. I can rebase. That's the best I can do. So I'm going to go ahead and... Yeah, that's seven damage. And then I know their anti-air is going to get me, but... Just... Oh, no. I did. I was going to say, I just took out another air unit. And I didn't take anything out. So, obviously... Boom. Okay, four suppression I'll take. Four to one, I'll take that. He's encircled, but I'm damaged. Had to retreat. One damage. Okay. I gained a star already, which is good. Gotta get that experience up. Oof. It hurt, but that's way better outcome than last time. suppressed pretty hard. And of course, they're picking on my guys up there. Dang it, they keep escaping. start with this side. I have an anti-air unit. I can get up on high ground, which gives me extra range, and then boom. He spent all that money to repair, too. That's funny. I could have done an anti-tank against him, but I got an anti-tank right here.
got an overrun. I don't know if I want to continue. I think I want to repair. So that's what I'm going to do. Obviously, with my artillery, I need to weaken. They do have this uh, their own artillery. I can come over here and take out That's awesome. So now that I took out their artillery, or, or I'm sorry, their anti-air, we're going to just start dive bombing the crap out of them. This guy needs to heal. Not quite a full star, but he's doing well. Obviously the he's a problem don't want to use my tiger against him. So I'm just going to keep moving forward. And same with him. Get some anti-air going there. Now this anti-air unit can hit him. And he will. We have one fighter down here. Who can... Took out another one. Gonna repair with him. I want to encircle. But he's just a recon. Oh, there we go. Obviously, I want to keep hitting these guys, but I need to bust out. He's sort of like bottlenecking me completely here. Um, obviously, I can go over the mountains, and I will. Kind of refresh there. My tank is not super equipped to... Dang it, it's going to take another whole turn to bust out. mountain then I'm at least going to protect him my air anti-air will move up one more and artillery of course will be well positioned I do have oh I forgot to use these guys I do have the ability to bomb Still not sure I like those odds. I'm just gonna leave it be. And then, um, and the reason is, is I moved everybody already. So even if I force that guy to retreat, what good does that do me? These were fighters, but it looks like they're suppressed. Um, can continue to hit him. Can damage them. There's so many choices here. I'm okay with that one. That reduces their entrenchment to four. We got two fighters here. We are gonna rebase. Get them into the action. done everybody on the right side a little concerned about him but I think the worst he's gonna do is attack our anti-tank here um, if I move here to protect the anti-tank then they'll just move to there and attack me <laughs> so I don't necessarily want to do that I could move him it's not a bad idea let's try this this artillery should support him. I don't know why it wouldn't.
So it has anti-tank support. Interesting. So he doesn't support against soft targets? Is that the weakness of the Mars? Oh my gosh, I never realized that. So he does anti-tank support. So he supports against hard targets. When I had him, he was AT as well. And this one, artillery support against soft target types, if you were the 15 centimeter. And if you're this guy, soft target types. So which one did I move up there? Him. The wrong one. Dang it. <laughs> uh, all right. End turn. All I did was move him up there to get damaged. That was, I mean, they're doing their job. They're harassing and taking the areas that are hard to get to. And I mean, they took this freaking mountain, Mount Elbrus, whatever the heck that was. And they even took this little patch of land back there. All right, so obviously a tiger can do some damage here. This is an anti-air. Still not in range, though, huh? Ah, oh, I took a damage. I need my pioneer unit for this particular spot. Obviously, this pioneer is going to cream him. I'm actually going to go this way, and then this guy, I'm going to send this way. Because I really, I mean, maybe I can eat a pioneer unit. Oh, ah, screw it. I went the wrong way again. I should have kept it the way it was. Heal. No air units here. Let's go up and take some territory. some tanks we can harass just about anybody but I think I want to get him anti-air yep let's take out some artillery Alright, so we got a f two fighters here. Sure. He's gone. And then, yes, we can finally hit that bomber that's been harassing us up there. We even gained a star out of the deal. This guy, we're going to continue to harass him. We have... Some damage to do. Scooby-Doo. Alright, well we took Baku. There's a lot of units here, so this infantry unit's never gonna really go anywhere. 
I'm gonna go ahead and hit with that, and then I'm gonna move him up to support that infantry. It's interesting, so this Mars unit only, he's basically like an anti-tank now. I did not realize that, but the thing is, is I need to move up. This is my Geiger Jaeger, so he needs to go up. And of course I gotta come backwards now to help take care of this. With both of them. Oh, come on! And since he's in his transport, I'm going to just protect him with anti-air. <laughs> I know it's pretty awful, but it's all I can do. I can also send this artillery up along with them. And not a perfect round, but we're going to have to finish it. Sort of knew that was coming. Yeah. Six damage. Very interesting. Well, let's anti-air you. We got two fighters. Oh, we got our ace. Seven damage to him. damage. Anti-tank's gonna go up. We got them encircled, which is awesome. Because that's actually gonna be a little bit of a problem child, because I'm still dealing with all this mess over here. And I only have one artillery. But we should have... So can I rebase closer? I can. I don't want to rebase yet. I don't think, because I can definitely reach here. So that's what I'm going to do. And we're going to come in, take the airfield, and this guy is as good as gone. This one will go to anti-tank. And they're going to wish. And then we're going to go up with our tiger. We're losing units still. Ugh. He's down to six health. Well, it's because we've been getting attacked left and right. Should I repair or should I... I should... Go after that artillery. This guy needs to repair. So this is the wear infantry, which as you can see there, I can't do anything with. So I'm just gonna come back and try to, I mean, we got all kinds of stuff encircled here. Oh, speaking of which, I still have this guy. So he gets a free rebase. And then we're gonna attack him because since he's encircled, Take away most of his ammo. Because as you can see, if I try to attack him, he's going to do a lot of damage because he's got the high ground. He's Obi Wan. Obi Wan. So I'm going to just finish off their artillery. And maybe just position myself here. 
So yeah, we definitely have him encircled, which is fine. This fighter, I don't think, can reach anybody, so we're going to rebase. Okay, I have an anti-air up here. We're going to get up on the high ground, and boom. Didn't kill him, but we did good enough. Let's get some bombers up here. When do I do? Yeah, let's take out what we can. This should be finally an overrun. And we're going to move up. Let's get that guy. He's probably entrenched. Yep. He's entrenched quite well, in fact. We'll at least be in the woods. And of course this is an anti-tank unit, which I guess we'll just support. Oh, I didn't even go with him. Uh, I'm actually gonna heal. <coughs> since his attack really wasn't going to do much. Oh yeah, these guys. So what do we do? Finish him. Let's just keep moving this way. And we're going to just basically march to take those and then obviously take him out too. Alright. End turn. Two planes of theirs left. I figured that was going to happen. This I'm a little worried about. Oh, oh, our tiger. No. Our tiger is basically out of the game. attacking me. Let's get him out of out of ammo. There we go, we got a soft attack bonus. We'll go take that spot, get some nice prestige. Uh, this is my elite pioneers. Oh. First things first is this guy needs to run. I'm just down to one strength with him. Uh, see these infantry up here are nasty. So I'm just gonna come over and Destroy that, and then, yeah, my pioneers are going to just ruin all their days, and I'm just going to go ahead and kill him, and then we will move west, which was my original plan. Uh, you know what? I don't need to do that. I got infantry right here. I already have infantry over there. I didn't need to do him. I should have done the undo button. I'm sorry. Wasn't thinking. Uh, yeah, 
This is going to be interesting. I could use my artillery. And I will go ahead and hit one of them. But yeah, I need to move my artillery this way. Now, this is an anti-air, of course. Well, at least get him positioned. Excuse me, and then, yeah, I got a recon. Which really can't do much, but I'll at least try to protect some flanks. I have three sets of fighters. just harass these guys with our fighters as best as we can and of course they got an anti-air unit and yeah I'm gonna go pick on their parked planes here I did use all my no I did not I have a strategic bomber left He's going to have to rebase this turn. All right, as far as over here goes, he just repaired. So that means we need to make him pay. And maybe finish him off with a bummer. Perfect. And hit the other one. He should be pretty good entrenched there. He is. So we got him down to eight. If I do that, I'll get attacked. But I'm going to move in like that, and then that'll work. All right. This guy is good and suppressed. Definitely need to get some replacements for him. I think I'm going to have to take some losses here. Uh, I'm going to probably take some losses with him. Get the artillery up. I don't want to go here. He'll definitely take some losses. So, I guess I'm staying right where I'm at. Wasn't expecting that. Four damage? Oh man, I may have to reload that turn. Oh my goodness. So this guy took four damage. Oh, no! I was just clicking on him to show you. <laughs> uh. So this guy, right click. This guy here took damage from him when it was him that I thought was going to step over here and finish me off. So I for sure need to get him out. Root him out. Get up in the mountains, because that's what these guys do, right? Their advantage is in the mountains. Get him killed. And actually retreat. And then this guy for sure has to retreat. And then this one... Uh, we'll just move him up one. And here, yeah, go ahead and bomb, and then this one needs to rebase, Is there, there's an airport there, yep, he's just going to have to rebase up here. Yeah, the infantry's holding out tough. It's okay. As for this guy, we are running back home. I don't even want to risk just leaving him up there so a plane can find him. Um, 
as far as this goes, that ship is annoying. But we're going to just move this way. And you can see it's completely undefended. And this guy apparently is surrounded. So we're just going to back up a little. Move him up. Start working on his entrenchment. And these are the guys that are going to matter. I got to get rid of that ship because he's providing all kinds of support. And then, of course, do this. I'll wait one more turn. As far as everybody else, though, I can start moving them east to help out with all this nonsense over here. Uh, do I need a... I don't need a recon over there. So yeah, you can see like there, that's a 7-0. He's going to get blasted. And then this, I think, is just because of that artillery in the back there. But I do have this guy which can go to anti-air. He's gone. I have three sets of fighters. And that's because of their anti-air. Can't go in and do anything. This is quite the strong hold here. Uh, so my pioneers could start to take a little bit of hit. Yeah, let's go ahead and encircle them. There we go, we just did 10 damage. Get to attack again, that's right, I forgot. I can completely kill that unit, so let's do it. Done. That's actually pretty sweet. This is where the double attack is going to help. Um, I guess I can't even attack in the mountains with uh, with them with a recon unit. So this one, I'm tempted to just come around. Yeah. We're going to do that. And in turn. Sort of saw that coming. Damage was minimal. I mean, it, it hurts, but it is what it is. That's the part that's going to hurt. Yeah, six damage. All right, so my Pioneer unit can still do some pretty decent damage. One second, I need to sneeze. <laughs> okay. Um, the tank. Ooh. I mean, obviously, we at least get them encircled, which is good. Um, thing is, is I need my bombers. But I gotta do this first. So he's gone. And then the other bomber can go here. Get his entrenchment down to five. Yeah, see, it's still some significant. There we go, plus one to soft. And we got him to surrender. So I don't even need him over there, so I can bring... Bringing my artillery back. We're gonna pound these suckers.
definitely got him whittled down. I mean, he's a little weak. But with the artillery moving over, they're, they're toast. Now, here's the thing. I can do this, but I'm actually going to run back so I can have more infantry support over here. And then with this anti-air, I'll go in and take the city. Bada bing. 150. And then we got to start working on this guy now. Who had eight entrenchment. Now he's got five. We're up in the mountains, so this helps, but obviously not enough. And I'm actually going to just repair these guys. And move him up. Get on the high ground. Attack. Uh, this bomber can come. He's not going to kill anybody, but just remove that entrenchment. Which helps. And then this bomber. I guess we're going to hit one more time here. Still not kill him. We got him to retreat, though. Gotta do that. I think if I move in, he should be encircled, even though he's not showing it. Is there a symbol that shows that they're encircled? I don't think there is. Um, I'll have to check that next time. I was almost able to come in and finish him with my... Uh, and then, of course, I can do that, but I don't want to. <coughs> Let's save or save the whales, save the tigers. Uh, yeah, that's right. We got these three fighter units, uh, which can't do anything because of that anti-aircraft gun. And turn. Got a star with a Gibber Yager. However you pronounce it. Well done. So now we can come in. And I'm going to do this guy on the artillery. one on the anti-air. Looks like I can't attack in the mountains with the tanks either. Or at least not this this way. Yeah, so these are my one-man wrecking crews. So we're going to take out that so now, these guys are defenseless. And yeah, we're gonna... Down he goes. And yeah, I can't attack in the White Cap Mountains with tanks. I can attack this level mountain, but not the high mountains. It makes sense. I mean, how could you get a tank up there? And I'm going to move in, and I should have done this before. We're going to suppress the anti-air. Looks like I can't attack in the high mountains with my um, with those guys either. Move him up. Take the airport. And then this guy can start moving the other way. Now when we get to this, obviously that's a uh, problem. I was able to suppress him. So my tank should be able to get in a good pot shot. And then finished him off. Uh, it's a little risky, but we'll do it. Get him up there. 
Yeah, I'll stop him here. Yep, and the guy healed. So it looks like we're gonna just keep bombing him. There, he's finally encircled. Should have probably done that a while ago. So now he can't heal himself, which is the big thing. I could finish him off, but he's encircled, so... Ooh, can I move anywhere closer? Airfield right here. can't do anything with my fighters yet, but I'm just going to rebase then. I know it's not very, it's not a lot closer, but it's close enough to hit everything. And... I can move him. Don't know, yeah, nowhere to go. Alright, end turn. All right, let's start trekking across the mountains. I'm not even sure he can go across the mountains. Let's get out of the high cap mountains. And as you can see, hit this guy first. There, I just busted through the road. And then, yeah, I can get up into the high mountains and pioneer him out too. So, we finally busted through. Now I do have a bomber unit that would take some damage. Um, this guy's a killer, so let's go up and kill. And then this guy, can I rebase? Yep, I will. And then, yeah, that anti-air unit's still causing trouble, no matter where I want to go. <sighs> Heal with him. Get another 75 prestige. Knock another guy out. Oh, Jesus. That's not good. Let's at least provide some support. Um, I'm going to at least go to there. Done. Let's start moving into the fray. So obviously I have air units that um, can do things. It's just that the anti-air is a bit of a problem. But I might as well get some experience points. And look at that, I rebuild a unit I can attack. So this bomber unit can go in a day. And this fighter unit actually can go help too. Because that's out of the range of the anti-air. And there should be one down here. Needs a rebase. And we'll go up to there. Right? So that's everybody. Yeah, it is.
Oh, come on. I was gonna say, it better be an ambush. Let's anti-tank him. Now he's up in the mountains. Yep, I'm gonna use my tank on him. Because that's the best use of a tank. Anti-tank mode and support there. All right, so we did bust through. Now we gotta figure out what we're gonna do here. And I think what we're gonna do is wreck these units that have been annoying us all this time. And then this is an anti-tank unit, so... Sure. Move our infantry up, get him ready for an attack. This guy's been... And of course they retreat. do here. We definitely want to start ruining their entrenchment, so let's get that going. Can he reach? That was actually a bonus. And of course, that one didn't do anything. I don't think there's anything else left. There's other guys left, but there's no point in moving them. pretty much as planned. Start working on him. Go into anti-tank mode. Boom. Yeah, let's get some encirclement in place. I almost don't even care about this guy in the mountains anymore. But I'll keep pursuing him just because that actually created an encirclement. Alright, so... Let's remove their ammo. And remove his ammo. And go after. 
after him. And, oh, there's nobody else left. So I got a bummer just sitting idle right now. I can wait another round. How much am I getting a turn? 270, 78% bonus. I don't think the bonus will fall that much. Yeah. Oh. Sure. Well, we ended up getting one. Might as well keep this going. I think I could probably win this round. And I can. What did I not take? What haven't I taken? Five of six victory hexes? What's going on? <coughs> what? What have I not taken? Oh my gosh, I haven't taken that? Don't tell me I haven't taken Duplicy this whole time. Oh my gosh, that was so bizarre. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> it wasn't super tough. Your sudden but appearance that on a mountain new front has was. completely turned the tide of our war against the Soviet Union. Think our forces were on the brink of disaster at Stalingrad, only to be saved by your army sweeping from the south. Stalingrad crushed. The Caucasus is in our hand, and the mighty Volga at our disposal. The only major Soviet stronghold remaining west of the Urals lies in their capital of Moscow. <coughs> and that will be your target. All right, so we're going after some Ruskies. Expect major resistance to block your advance at every turn. Even these outer defensive lines around Moscow should not be underestimated. Our forces stationed at Rezhev report Soviet counterattacks are also underway. Be wary of enemy units back capturing your objectives. Once you break through the perimeter defenses, get ready for a major urban struggle. As you need to clear the entire city of all its defenses. <coughs> Advancing directly across the Moskva River into Moscow is highly inadvisable. I would look for, or create your own, route into the city from a more vulnerable flank. Victory here will absolutely take the Russians out of the war. After coming this far, I cannot believe you would fail Germany now. Onward to triumph! Interesting. Ignores combat penalties from rivers. It's not super great, but it can be handy. It's just would I ever remember to use it. Um, I mean, if you have a, <coughs> a tank like, for example, this one with no hero, why not give him river assault? Okay, so what I'm noticing right away is it's a huge map. Oh my gosh, it's huge. Look at this. So, Rezev, or however you pronounce this, obviously is surrounded by units here, here, and then there's a supply point there. And they give me units to actually defend the area, which is nice. Um, and then you can see I even have units down here. What I'm betting is 
I could use the units that they gave me to try to push for this. And chances are, I don't have enough. <coughs> Maybe I do. That's the problem with never playing this scenario. But chances are these units are, it looks like they're all two stars uh, experience. And then from an artillery, this is a 17 centimeter. That's a number woofer. So it's not going to be all that hot. We got one anti-air here. And that's <coughs> Here's the problem. The problem is, is you got these two guys and they're going to swoop down and try to knock out my anti-air. And once that happens, I bet there's stuff here at this airport. And then you have Kalanen as well. So you got these three here. So let me go back to my deployment. So as you can see, I could deploy um, in this area. Ah. So let me back up. So you can see I can deploy in this area here. So what I'm thinking is, is that I might want to deploy a few units here. And what it would do is their goal, their only goal, is to take these areas. Okay? But then once they do, they're going to clear these guys out as along the way, right? And swing over to Kalinin and then hit Moscow like from a, from a northeast, northwest angle, I meant. <clears throat> that's the that's my thought I don't think it needs to be a really huge army but it would definitely be something and so I can take this northern flank out with my core units then what that allows me to do is focus these units here and then all the units down here in Vyazma and Smolensk and all of them can concentrate on taking out the supply point because I think if these units here could be unfettered by the north here they can all focus on heading west like this which I'm betting there's units gonna be all over the place here um, <clears throat> and then of course you know I got this unit down here and I guarantee you that if I move up there's gonna be units here and here as well but my thoughts are is that I don't want to spend core units going after this, but I could, at least with the auxiliary units, um, they should be able to collectively work together to take that out, as long as I play smart. Um, my core units, though, are going to be needed to take these out, and then, of course, like I said, swing over to Kaladin. All right, so that's the first thing. The second one, so you can see I can deploy all the way up here. You can see I can deploy, they're even letting me deploy all the way down in Smolensk. I don't know if that's a great idea. The next thing is, like I said, this is a huge map. I mean, look how big it is. Um, so I can't put too many units there. Now, I could deploy some units here in Vyazma, because I'm guessing they're going to have some troops here. And the idea would be to clear this out, clear this out. I'm just not sure how useful that is. Um, I do have some more auxiliaries down here, which are nice. And what I'm thinking is, is the auxiliaries are going to be the ones that are going to push towards Kaluga. And as you can see with the deployment zones, there's a big deployment area around Orel. Um, what's awful is this is all like woods. It's going to be hard to get through. But um, I think there's a path for one army to go this way and one army to go this way. So I'm going to put like two armies here. Uh, one of them, of course, is going to clear out this area down here and then work its way up and just pick apart everything up to Ryazan. This other army is going to go straight up to Tula. And like I said, Kaluga is going to be taken by the auxiliaries. Then the Tula army is going to basically get up to about here and probably have to clear all this out. Whereas the Ryazan army is going to get across the river and then do exactly as they said and sneak in from behind. Um, even 
go after those points, but sneak in from behind and hit Moscow from the rear. Um, that's at least the initial plan. Um, the third army, of course, being up here in the north, uh, could come down. And so my thoughts are, uh, they may not be able to break into Moscow through the river, but I gotta hold this area. Whereas the other army is gonna hold this area, right? And then the third army is gonna pincer in from behind. I could, with this army here, try to swing all the way around this way. I just don't know if it's possible. We'll have to play that out. Uh, I am sitting on 106,000. I do have a lot of core slots, 17 in fact. And um, let's get, oh, I was thinking, let's get repaired. See what I got left after I repair. And my tiger, look at that. I can repair him. Costs a thousand to repair. Holy buckets. I'm down to 103,000 after repairing. I think we got some tigers in our future, which means core slots are going to get chewed up. But let's um, let's do that part. I'm in an hour and 32, so I'm going to go ahead and and quit, and I will see you in a few minutes.